Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I've, I've been wanting to get into modeling some things, some 3D things, right? I mean, I can, I can print everything from Thingiverse, that's not a problem, but I've always wanted to create my own stuff. Originally, I created a GoPro rig, and I used OpenSCAD to do that, and I was like, man, there's got to be something better. My buddy Bill from Punish Props gave me a quick little lesson in Fusion 360, and it was awesome! So now I'm going to show you what I learned. Stick along for the ride, let's do it. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. So like I said, Bill from Punish Props gave me a quick little lesson in Fusion 360, and I took to it pretty well. It was kind of exciting. And my, my goal was to learn enough to create the Maker Coin that Angus from Maker's Muse created for me. And I think I learned just enough. So let me take you through what I've learned in Fusion 360, and hopefully you can learn from it as well. I'm then gonna show you a time lapse of what I've created being built on the old team maker, and then, hey, at the end, let's take a look at it. So without further ado, let's load up Fusion 360. All right, now just remember, this is Fusion 360, and I've had literally uh, like an hour of experience, maybe an hour and a half. Maybe an hour and three quarters. I don't even remember. But I was able to create something. I'm going to show you what I know. And I'm going to show you what I created. Uh, let's hope it works. Okay. So look. Here it is. This is Fusion 360. This is the interface that comes up. It says uh, it's in millimeters for units, which is, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start a sketch. And a sketch is a, it's like a 2D drawing. And you pick the plane that you want to do the sketch on. All right, I'm gonna pick that planar face. It's gonna, whew, there it is. Once we're in this mode, now we can begin to sketch out this maker coin. And uh, these units are in millimeters, so I'm gonna try to pay attention to to those. Uh, let's see, let's, let's bring it on in. I know uh, I will probably start it here uh, let's see if it's the idea with these sketches is uh, I'm going to rotate this sketch around an axis in order to get a three-dimensional object and knowing that that means I'm gonna have to draw half of it so if I want if I want my maker coin to be four inches wide four inches is roughly 100 millimeters and so this sketch would start out 50, 50 uh, millimeters. All right, so I'm gonna go up to sketch. I'm gonna go line. Uh, let's see, so if this is 25, I'm gonna start here at five. I'm gonna go up to here. Let's see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here with the line. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bring it down here like this, down this way, over here, and right here. Now here's our the beginnings of our maker coin. And this is a general shape. What I would like to do is, let's see, I wonder if I can, can I add a point? I guess, I can, what if I, like I can add a point. I wonder if that would curve it down. Well, here's what I'm gonna do, and I'm sure there are much better ways of doing this. So in my three-point arc, I'm gonna pick this point, I'm gonna pick this point, and then it's gonna give me this little arc, little arc. So what I wanna do is bring it down essentially like this, okay? So in my, it's still selected, so I'm gonna go here and here, and then I'm gonna create a bump out this way. I'm gonna go here and here, and I'm gonna create a bump out that way. Uh, now what I can do, uh, let's see, if I pick, uh, let's see, I wanna hit escape, I think. Okay, good. So I can pick this line right here, right? I know I need to hit the delete key, I'm sorry. Yes, okay, oh, see, you're learning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hover over these lines. Let me hit delete. So now we have our option, or our, not our option, I don't even know what I'm saying. Now we have our sketch, 
and we're going to rotate this around an axis. So what I did again is I created these lines to draw my basic shape. Then when I had that in, I used a three point arc to refine that and I deleted the lines that I didn't need. I'm going to go over here to stop sketch. You can see here it is. Uh, if I if I go back and I go to my home view over here, uh, here it is. There's my sketch. You can kind of see it's it's within it's a 2D shape within three dimensional space. In order to create this coin, I need to rotate this whole thing around this axis right here. So it's just going to bring it all the way around like that. That makes it easy. Well, let's do that. It's called a revolve. And there it goes. Revolves a sketch profile or planar face around a selected axis. Perfect. It's asked me to pick the profile. So I'm going to select here and I'm going to pick this. That's the face. Okay, good. The axes I want to rotate around, I'm going to select that. And I'm going to pick this green one. Boom. Look at that. Direction one side, operation, new body. That's fine. Let's hit OK. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's just a giant shape. It's a big three-dimensional shape. Oh, that's so cool. And what you notice, this little drop down here, we've got a body, body one. That's this and this sketch. This is sketch one. There it is. It's it didn't go anywhere. It's still it's still right here. But once you create a body from it, it hides it. It does hide it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is cut out those little divots around the outside. That's not too hard. There's a couple ways to accomplish that. But what I'm going to do is create a sketch. And it's going to be on this plane, like this. I'm going to go to my line tool and I'm going to do this. I'm going to go in here, go out to, I'm going to go here and here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to stop the sketch. I'm hoping you can kind of see what I'm going to do here. So here's this sketch and I drew this here. If I pick this, I can go up to modify. Is it modify? No, I'm sorry, it's create and then extrude. So I'm going to take this two dimensional object and I'm going to bring it into three dimensional space. Oh, it's red. What? Ah, if it's red, the operation is to cut and you're going to cut a piece out of the object or the body that it's touching. You can change cut to join or intersect or new component, all sorts of good stuff. But for right now, this is what we want. We want it to cut a chunk out. I'm going to hit OK. And there it is. Cut a chunk out. That's kind of neat. But we need to bring it all the way around. And it took me a little while to figure this part out. But I finally did. Here's how I did that. First of all, you want to go to... Is it modify? No, it's create pattern. Circular pattern. This takes something and then creates a, a, a bunch more of them, however many you choose, around an axis. And there's all these different types of patterns that you can do. So this one right now is a pattern of faces. That's good, but this isn't really a face. I mean, I could select this and this, but I don't think that's the way to go. There's body. There's feature. Maybe fe is feature the way to go or component? Maybe it is. Is it body? No, it's faces. Is it faces? I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe it is faces. Again, I'm really new to this. Cool. Around the axes. And of course, I'm going to do this one right here. Perfect. Okay, it is working. And right now it puts one, two, three. Quantity of three. Uh, I, don't, I don't want three. I want 14. Why not? I'm going to hit OK. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Well, that's kind of fun. It's a little fun. Sure, why not? Again, it's not perfect, I guess, but it's exactly what I told it to do. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Last but not least is the cutout of my 3D printing nerd letters. That gets a little bit interesting. So I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to insert an SVG. It's going to ask me which plane. I'm going to pick this, this plane right here. Perfect. 
I need to pick my SVG file. I already have one of my letters. Oh, it's big. Here's the controls here. So this one I can grab and I can move it. This one I can resize it. So I hope you can kind of start to see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna resize it a bit. Just a little bit, okay. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit okay. And now it inserts this as a sketch. So what I need to do, if you remember, uh, let's see, I'm gonna stop the sketch. Okay, so if you remember on these sides, um, I drew a sketch and then I extruded it into 3D space. I need to do the same thing here. Hmm. But it's on the, the sketch is on the bottom of this body. So what I can do is hit the light bulb next to body. And there it is. Uh, it looks like, so I don't think the SVG importer is perfect or my SVG is not perfect, but that doesn't matter. I need to select the parts of the sketch that I want to extrude. And I don't want to extrude the inner parts of these letters. So I'm going to pick, while holding down shift, the, let, uh, the letters. There we go. Okay. Again, I'm learning on the way. So there we go. Looks like if I hover the mouse over, see there's that dot, but if I get it just right, here, I can zoom in a bit. There we go. Close. Perfect, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. It maintains my selection. If you remember, I'm gonna create and extrude. I'm going to turn this body back on. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Move it up so I can see the arrow. Where is it? There it is. It's right there. So I got to take that arrow and I got to bring it up. So this is quite a bit of stuff to extrude. But you can see it's all red and that's what we want. We want it to be a cut. I'm going to hit OK. It's thinking. There we go. We are so close to being done. Look at this. Not too shabby. OK, one thing left to do, at least on mine. I know Angus over at Maker's Muse has a a logo that doesn't require these little spacers to contain the middle parts of the letters, and that's fine. But here's how we do that. I'm gonna flip it over. Doesn't matter that it's upside down. I can work upside down. And then I need to sketch. I'm gonna create a sketch. It's gonna be on this face here. It's gonna present it to me. I'm gonna go sketch rectangle two point. I'm gonna go here. Just like that. I'm drawing a rectangle across the pieces that I know are going to be held in place. I hope that makes sense. So there we go. The D, the R, the R, the P, and the D. I'm gonna stop that sketch. And now if I go one, hold down shift, oops, stop it. Come on, we're learning here. One, hold down shift two, three, four. I'm gonna go create and extrude. Now I know it's going to extrude upwards, essentially, because that's the way the arrow's pointing. But at this point, I can just type it in. And I'm gonna go 2.5 for millimeters. I don't want it to be a cut. I want it to be a join, because I want it to all be the same, I want it to be one of the same uh, body. So then I hit okay, and that's it. So if you look, there it is, there it is. There it is for the P and the R, the R and the D. And that's it, we just, we just used Fusion 360 to make this little coin. But you wanna 3D print it. How do you do that? That's easy, go up to make, go 3D print, Select this, 
refinement high, you don't need to preview it. Send to 3D print utility, you do not need that. Hit OK. It asks you to save it out. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Booger Muffin because I can. And then I save it. That's it. You've just created a little coin. Hopefully my steps were easy enough to follow along and hopefully I gave you some ideas on some of the functionality that you can then extrapolate and uh, make all sorts of other cool stuff with. Um, well, I made mine. Here, let me show you. If I go over here, I double click that. It'll take a moment, but there is my coin. That's the one I made originally. And now you can see some of the features and be like, oh yeah, hey, I know, I know how he did that. In fact, let's see if I can find it. There's my original sketch right there that I rotated around to create this original body. And then let's see, this is the sketch right here that I rotated to create these divots. And then I uh, patterned it around it. And then I took my SVG and imported it. And that's, that's what it gave me. All right. Now you've seen this. There's the other one, of course, and you can print that funky looking one, but Well, Fusion crashed quite hard, and it's software. Software crashes. I'm so sorry. But regardless, we have this, and in order to print this, you just need to bring it into a slicer and print it. I happened to print one on the Ulti Maker, and I did film a time lapse. So if you're ready, time lapse. <laughs> an awfully cool time lapse you know just thinking about it right now if i film something like that i should probably film it from above the ulti maker and not necessarily head on but i digress here it is look it's very very green this was printed on the ulti maker 2 plus using matter hackers pro pla and it turned out fantastic this is um 20 infill sliced and simplify 3d uh yeah simplify 3d and the ulti maker 2 plus work fantastically well together uh, this It came out extremely well. At 0.2 layers, this inner curve is wonderful. The sidewalls are are near perfect. Uh, I This is a good model. I really, I really like this. I think it came out extremely well. That said, then I went crazy bonkers and I printed this on the Form 2. That's right. It's a resin printer. And I printed it at some crazy resolution that just happens to be the lowest on the form too. I'm still getting used to the interface on Preform their software. And um, this, this spit out something that had a whole bunch of support material on it. And removing that requires some flush cutters, a chisel, some sandpaper, and uh, a little bit of luck. And thankfully I had that all in there because this, this turned out good. And this is as smooth as a baby's behind. It's wonderful. That form too is amazing. And I can't wait to print more things with that. But my little maker coin that I created on the old team maker and on the form too, uh, I'm very happy with the results. I'm very happy with the STL. I'm very happy with the 3D model. And man, Fusion 360 is just, cool. You know, if you think this was awesome and you learned a little bit from it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Or if you're watching this and you know Fusion 360, feel free to answer any questions in the comments down below. It's really exciting to model this stuff and I can't wait to do more of it. I hope that's something you want to see. Hey, this was just, uh, this was just a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, there's some links down below. And when you do your shopping at Amazon, Matter Hackers, take your pick. Uh, you do your shopping there and a little uh, Scooby Snacks go my way. So that's pretty awesome. You can also find me over at patreon.com. And I love my patrons who support me without their financial support. Stuff like this just wouldn't happen. All right. Uh, it's late. Let's cut this up and get this published. Hey, Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Hug more often. As always, high five.